Folks, hope everyone's doing well. This is the iCarsoft MB version 2. This is a code reader for Mercedes Benz and is by far the best code reader available on the market. When it comes to a Mercedes Benz, there are 338,002 things that can go wrong with your car. A normal code reader can read about four things. However, this Carsoft MB2 can read basically every system within your Mercedes Benz. Don't get me wrong, it's not a star system and you will not need to read Peace and War to learn how to use it. However, for your do-it-yourselfer in the garage, this device is absolutely perfect for you. So there are the advances over a normal code reader. Show you the back. Hopefully you can see that, make it full screen if you can't. Just want to do a show in action because showing you the box isn't really that important. It comes in a lovely little carry case, it's quite useful. This cost me about £130 off e uh, Amazon, um, which I would say is quite good. Here's the device itself. Small device, you know, it's not a star system, don't get me wrong. Um, but for 150 quid, can you really go wrong with this code reader that can read most of the things wrong in this car? Probably not. So I'm gonna set up my tripod and I'll show you the workings of this device. Okay so we have it connected to the car this is the Mercedes W220 S500 and this is the iCarsoft MB V2. Now it's going to be quite difficult to show you one handed but it does for example voltages it's going to fall. So you can see all your live voltages the ignition is on currently. You can sort out your service. All those good things. Not sure if you can see that. Can you see it now? Ish. Apologies for the poor lighting. It's quite a low sun here. But if we go into diagnostics, we can see there that it does obviously. Mercedes Benz, Smart and Sprinter, it does Vito as well. You have to select what you have, so we have an S Class. So we're all the way at the bottom, unfortunately. But it's quite a quick system. Make sure we get the right one. We're w we are W220, that's us. We're up to 2002, gasoline, we have right hand drive, and we are the S500. Let's do a smart scan. Is that going to stay? As we can see there, if you can just about see that, it scans 35 different systems, and it does it in quite a fast nature. There's no hanging around. Um, so overall, I think this product is well worth the 130 quid that I paid for it. Granted, it's not a star system, but then it, it didn't cost me star money. It didn't cost me a thousand pounds. I would never spend a thousand pounds to fix my own car. This system here, it works reasonably well, and I think it's well worth the money if you are trying to get into DIY and do it yourself with your own car. Um, you know, obviously, if you're a garage, then there were things, other things on the market for you, such as a star system. But to have in the garage at home, this is 
more than likely enough for you as I said it reads 35 different systems and you've seen the box to all the things it does having this connected while driving and having it on the live view is quite useful um, that shows you all, all the engine stats as you're driving the car which is quite useful the actual usability of it is very easy um, it's basically like five buttons really isn't it um, so that's not an issue you don't need to with the star systems you have to learn about all these things and many many things we I just don't have time to do so these are all the things that it reads I really hope you can see that so on this car these are all the things it reads now to me if anything's gonna go wrong it's gonna be more than likely one of these um, I mean there's a lot of things there And then to go into it, you just hit enter. It will communicate with that system. And then you can read your fault codes if there is one. There we go. So that's a historic fault code. And then you can erase them. And there we go. I hit back then instead of erase, but there we go. You get, you get my drift. So overall, would I purchase this item for your Mercedes? I'm going to say yes. I think you'd be stupid not to, but there's no point in buying a star system if you're just at home trying to fix your own car. I think overall this is a good product for the price. You're probably not going to find a better one.